If you were to name the greatest discoveries in human history, you might say the wheel, or fire, or the internet. But what about time? First observed in the cycles of nature, the quest to measure time has led to some of our most important innovations. And in the 21st century, time is more important than ever. It's integral to many of the things we do and use in our everyday lives, and will be even more crucial for those yet to come. So if every second counts, whose job is it to count every second? I guess that's me. I can't smile like that, sorry. <laughs> My name's Michael Woders. I work in time and frequency at the National Measurement Institute. A second matters because it's the definitive unit of time. There is one human thing that it relates to, and that's your heartbeat. Your heartbeat's about once per second. And possibly that's where it comes from, I don't know. It's really a feature of modern technological society that we really need to start counting time much more accurately and precisely. One example would be um, mobile phones, for instance. You need very good synchronisation between the uh, base stations so that you can get handover. So if you're in a car making a phone call and you move from one cell to another, that cell has to hand over the call to the next one. For that to work properly without the uh, call being dropped, you need to have those base stations synchronised basically to a millionth of a second or so. The basic instrument we have in time and frequency is an atomic clock. This provides us with a source of ticks once per second, but also uh, ticks at a much higher frequency as well. The once per second ticks are used for time of day, but the higher frequency signals are used to provide a reference for other instruments that we actually use to make time measurements with. We also compare our clocks with clocks around the world, and that's through uh, something called Coordinated Universal Time. UTC, the International Time Standard. And as part of that comparison, the measurements that we make on our clocks are incorporated into UTC. I work in a very specialised field, so time and frequency. There's only three other people. Uh, within Australia, we're really unique. There's no one else we can talk to uh, if we want to discuss technical problems, for instance. So the process that NADA has for assessing uh, our competence brings in experts from outside to look at what we do and to essentially give us the assurance that uh, we're doing it right. Accreditation is the assurance that we, what we claim is true. 